Hi, this is Priyanka and I welcome you all to Sujan Wednesday webinars. If you guys are attending for the first time, this is a community initiative by Sujan Technologies. As a part of this initiative, we host webinars every alternate Wednesdays where we get uh, experts to talk on a variety of different subjects and they share their knowledge on subjects like front-end technologies, UI, UX, mobile apps, community building, entrepreneurship, digital marketing, and many more. Today, we will discuss how Drupal can intertwine in the enterprise landscape, and we will share different use cases on how Drupal can support enterprises and the edge that it brings as a solution. I would request all participants to please type in any questions that you have during the presentation so we can take them up in the last 15 minutes of this webinar. I would now like to introduce our speaker for today's webinar. We have with us Shamla Rajaram. Shamla is the VP for Social Business Solutions at Unimity Solutions, where she heads the development and support team that builds, maintains, and supports the enterprise social workspace product called Unimity People Power. Shamla is an experienced site builder, Drupal technical architect, and project manager. She is passionate about harnessing open source technologies for building enterprise solutions that are really practical and effective. While you get hooked on to Shyamla's presentation, don't forget to take this conversation live on Twitter using our hashtag SwidgenWW. You can share your thoughts by tagging us in your tweets using our handles at the rate Swidgen and at, at the rate uh, Rajaram underscore Shyamla. You can also uh, Sh sorry, uh, the Twitter handle is at the rate Sham underscore Raj. You can also see that on your screen right now. I a big thank you to Shamla for joining us today and sharing her ex for sharing her expertise with us. Without any further delay, I think we should get started. Shamla, over to you. Hi everybody. Good day to all. It's always a pleasure to be presenting Drupal. And I thank Srijan for giving me this opportunity to present on Srijan Wednesday webinar series. Um, before I deep dive into today's webinar, um, I'm just going to add a couple of lines into where I stand with Drupal. I've closed about nine years of experience in Drupal and I've had an opportunity to architect, build, and deliver large Drupal solutions for enterprises as part of Unimity Solutions. I've also had the privilege of being part of some of Drupal community initiatives at different points. I also spearhead initiatives in Chennai where I live. In today's webinar, I'll be talking about unraveling Drupal to deliver versatile enterprise solutions. In this webinar, I would like to share my learnings in building multiple Drupal applications for large enterprises. So where we are today in the enterprise IT landscape is that enterprises are ready to break away from long development cycles, become agile, move away from traditional methods. Enterprise requirements are changing. Enterprise systems are no longer just transactional, but need to bring in the ability to connect stakeholders, interact around each of these transactions and processes. No longer are the transactions and processes standalone, but they need stakeholder interactions. Enterprise systems today need to align with the key mantras social, mobile, and cloud. This being said, understanding Drupal will help leverage and deliver versatile Drupal solutions that will plug into the enterprise landscape. I'm just quickly going to walk through some of the key benefits that Drupal would bring to the enterprise. Being contemporary today means aligning with the mantras social, mobile, and cloud. 
in the context of social, Drupal brings to the table community building and social features. Some key social features include commenting, rating, reviews, follow friends, and such. Drupal also has capabilities to build and present contextual content. In the context of mobile, Drupal supports building responsive websites that could be viewed on all devices. In fact, in Drupal 8, it ships with a responsive theme by default. Even the admin interfaces are responsive. Let's just, at this point, take a peek into one of a responsive group to site, which is none other than the famous Grammy.com. We are looking at the Grammy's gallery page, and you can see how this page quickly responds to the device in which it's getting viewed. So Drupal, in the context of being responsive, provides responsive images, responsive layouts, also the assets, videos, menus, all become responsive to the device in which it is getting rendered in. In the context of mobile, it also has plugins or modules that generate APIs and services and enables two-way communication with mobile apps. The Drupal web platform serves as a single publishing platform and serves multiple delivery channels. Mobile could be one such. Drupal can easily be deployed on the cloud and supports cloud technologies. Hence, being contemporary. Quick prototyping, short sprints, leveraging open source, what already exists, are some of the mantras of Drupal Agile development. Standard compliance is an important part of Drupal development. Following Drupal's coding standards and best practices, results in clean, secure, manageable code. Standard compliance makes the code actually vendor or developer independent. Performance and scalability. Here, Drupal leverages infrastructure solutions available to deliver high performance sites that are also scalable. Drupal handles performance in multiple layers. It has CSS, JS compressions at the HTML layer. It has default uh, page caching mechanism, which caches the entire content for a visitor. It has views and block caching, which are different components in Drupal, and also has provision to build custom caching layers based on the nature of the application. Beyond these Drupal-specific caching layers, it also has the architecture to support and leverage other infrastructure caching layers, like reverse proxy caching using Varnish, supports ready integration with CDN. I would like to quickly um, show you, in the context of scalability, an architecture in Amazon that was deployed. So Drupal in Amazon is something that's pretty common today. And this deployment in Amazon takes to advantage the different zones to bring in redundancy. It brings in auto-scaling of different components used in Drupal like the search, the web server, the SQL. And hence, Drupal is truly scalable and highly optimized. In 
In today's multi-vendor architecture, it's very important that applications are extendable, which means that they need to be readily integrate or expose APIs using standard protocols. To pull and push information in standard formats is a necessity of the day, and Drupal supports this. Security is a very important consideration for the enterprise. Drupal's security team is constantly working with the community to investigate, verify, and publish security updates. Drupal.org has an exclusive security section that publishes vulnerabilities and fixes for the same. All announcements are also available as subscriptions and on Twitter handle. Understanding the benefits, now I would like to speak about use cases in the enterprise that could be leveraged. The use cases itself are in three broad categories. Communities, then I'll talk about business processes and how Drupal intertwines in them, and the last being the dashboard feature that Drupal could provide. So Drupal provides multiple avenues to innovate and create versatile solutions. Some use cases being facility to build communities to bring together different stakeholders and align the enterprise towards leveraging social feature. It helps to build brand and customer communities partner, channel, and vendor communities, and also employee communities. I'm just going to take the example of the brand communities. The key features here that really leverage Drupal's capabilities and also helps build these brand communities are that it can serve targeted and personalized communication, which means that it could build custom dashboards based on the user. It could generate custom newsletters or content based on region and interests of the user. It could also throw up multilingual sites. Drupal is very powerful in the context of in information dissemination, which means nothing but content publishing and social share features. So Nestle has its brand um, Nestle Baby, a host of its size, all hosted in Drupal serving different languages, different content, different brand audiences using Drupal. It's an, ex it's an effective platform to build to listen to the voice of the customers, easy to run surveys, opinion polls, discussion forums, get users to share comments and reviews, and engage with the customer community. The second aspect, the employee communities. We have a platform of our own at Unimity Solutions that leverages this and serves large enterprise communities. And the edge that Drupal gives in this is the ease with which we can create interactive features and interactive ways in which we could reach out to the community. And we call these stimulants options and opportunities to connect and share. So I'm just going to take up some examples of enterprise communities that are available use cases. Red Hat 
has its whole community built using um, Drupal. Twitter has its developer community in Drupal. Pinterest has business community built in Drupal. Some examples of Drupal communities built using Drupal platform. Moving on to the next section, which is core business processes. Here, some ready solutions available in Drupal could plug in and help in defining the core business processes of certain enterprises. One key area is the marketing portals where the front-end support to CRM activities, the lead generation capabilities, the ability to stay connected, all help in building these portals. Further, Drupal has the capability to manage multiple domains, multiple languages using a single code base, enhance translation management and the nature in which translation is implemented at different levels give an advantage to manage multiple marketing portals of organizations in a single platform. Marketing portals also require fancy UIs. The Drupal theming layers support building attractive and interactive websites. Its quick form building capabilities help to build campaign pages that can be integrated with user systems and build lead generating systems. Managing targeted mailers, access to downloadables are some other interesting marketing features that could be built using Drupal. Over and above all this, it has a very powerful search engine optimization modules, helps ready plugins available that provide features like friendly URLs, um, metadata that are important for search engines, XML sitemaps and such. Ready integrations are also available with Google Analytics. Next, moving on to e-commerce portals. Standard Drupal installation Drupal Commerce allows e-commerce users to leverage commerce functionality and Drupal's inherent content and community building features. Drupal's frame framework capabilities allow us to customize and build rules and workflows and solutions that are tailor-made to their businesses. Key highlights of Drupal Commerce are products, product categorization, inventory management, shopping cart, billing and shipping, addresses, taxation and discounts. Integration with Apache Solar brings in facilitated search and product search which are very useful. Puma is one site which is using Drupal Commerce to build its e-commerce front site. Timex is another site that provides its store using Drupal Commerce. It leverages Drupal's multi-domain architecture to save, to serve the same content, the same set of watches across all its domains. It leverages content translation capabilities. It leverages the search capabilities to bring in facilitated search. And it also leverages the cart and other e-commerce features available.
Drupal also is a very integral part of the publishing workflows of many media companies. Many online publishing portals are turning to Drupal for their publishing platforms. The editor interface of Drupal facilitates very creative mechanisms to manage media, to help search, reuse image assets, versatile Visivic interfaces, layout management tools, quick and easy admin access menu bars, all bring very adaptive editor interfaces. Multiple publishing user, houses of the same enterprise could share the same code base could, but could deliver different styles and layouts and different web news portals with the same code base. Economis is one of the large publishing media houses that use Drupal for its publishing platform. The key advantage that Economis got by moving to Drupal was its adaptive editor interface and also that it moved its publishing platform truly to the cloud and enabled editors to access the publishing platform from across the globe. Economist to quickly integrate with its apps and mobile interfaces that were being delivered. Education is another area where Drupal is being used extensively. Today, increasingly, people are moving away from standard LMS solution learning management systems to social learning platforms. Content no longer has a standalone value. The interactions that the students and the community bring to the content increases the value of the content. And this can be leveraged only in social platforms. Stanford University, Harvard, Oxford, Georgia Tech leverage Drupal in this context. Drupal allows to build innovative tools to organize content. You could create playlists. They could be user specific, it could be based on interests, personalization, contextualization. These are key capabilities of Drupal. It has powerful search engine, like I said, integrates with Apache Solar that allows you to throw up faceted search, bring in discussion forums and interactions combined with rating, commenting, sharing, build interest groups using a very powerful module called organic groups and other social features that allows you to build more vibrant and powerful learning portals. Stanford uses Drupal extensively and uh, in fact there is a post on um, Tris Butert who is the founder of Drupal, his blog talking about the different portals of Stanford, different sites of Stanford that are using Drupal. They have over 50 sites or close to 100 using Drupal. Increasingly in today's enterprise landscape where there are multiple vendors and multiple systems that are interacting. Drupal, interestingly, also brings in another feature, the plug and play, the easy extendability, the easy API capabilities of Drupal could be leveraged to build a dashboard for the multi-vendor enterprise landscape. 
So having spoken about the different use cases, I thought it would be interesting for us to present it as a diagram and understand how these different components actually sit in the enterprise landscape. So right at the top, if you could see, um, external stakeholders interact with the enterprise. Please note in this diagram, all blue are capable of being built in Drupal. All green are other external systems and the gray are different cloud services that exist outside of the enterprise but still integrates into the enterprise system. So if you look at the top part, the marketplace where we have vendors and customers, and in this layer, the marketing portal, we could bring in different features that we spoke about, the branding, branding vendor and customer communities. We could build the marketing content management system. We could build lead management systems all using Drupal. Moving into the internal systems, there could be different systems that are required from a business process perspective, the ERP systems, the learning and community collaborative which is internal could again be managed well by Drupal. Drupal again can be used to leverage the extendability and API capabilities to build dashboards both around MIS operations as well as a single dashboard for the internal users which serves as a single communication platform, integrating not only the internal systems, but also any third-party systems that exist. And in today's multi-vendor hybrid architecture, increasing need for social and community interactions, Drupal being part of the enterprise land is becoming important. Summarizing what Drupal brings and what features we could leverage in the community, in the enterprise, landscape include its content management capabilities, its nodes, content types and taxonomies, its Visivig editor, its image handling capabilities that could help the editor to publish content, capabilities to schedule revision content, its community building or social capabilities which brings in interactivity to the site, easy integrations and extendability that it provides, contemporary design, different portals having different layouts. Here you have Novartis, you have Nestle, You have Novartis in different languages, Nestle in its different languages and domains, Puma and Timex all having different look and feel. Contemporary designs brings in responsive behavior. Its framework capability is another very important aspect that has been continuously leveraged that it can easily extend beyond the features that are already available. The CRM capabilities wherein users could register, you could easily generate campaign pages, create lead generating forms, not just leave with capturing, you could also 
set up follow-up mailers, triggers to stay connected till the lead gets converted to a customer, throw up different content to the leads, downloadables, interesting reads to the leads. It's cloud hosting capability, multilingual and multi-domain support capability that could be leveraged. These are, to summarize, the key features that the enterprise could leverage from Drupal. I would like to conclude by saying enterprises looking to innovate their digital strategy to deliver versatile solution, be in vogue and start using Drupal. Thank you. Wow, that was a great session. Thank you so much, Amla, for sharing, uh, for, for walking us through these key benefits of Drupal as an enterprise solution and sharing such great examples which illustrate the versatility of Drupal. I'm sure everybody truly benefited from your session. Moving on, I'm sure you guys have a couple of questions. Please press the raise hand button on your control panel if you want to ask your question using your microphone. Or you can ask your question by typing them in in the chat box on your screen. We already have our first question. So uh, we'll just quickly move on to them. Our first question is by Nasir. He's asking, which are the verticals where Drupal platform would not be suitable? Uh, That's an interesting question. So I don't see any vertical where today you cannot leverage social or the content management skills. So um, I would say it's more the readiness of the enterprise to take on open source solutions as part of their technology solutioning be ready to move on to explore more newer and contemporary trends. And Drupal is pretty agnostic of the, and provides varied solutions for different um, range of enterprises. All right. Uh, Nasir, I hope that answers your question. If you have a follow-up question, please feel free to type in. Meanwhile, we'll jump on to our next question, which is why is market share of Drupal e-commerce platform very less? So uh, wh exactly what they're trying to ask is why is Drupal e-commerce solution is not so popular? So this is an interesting question because uh, truly not many large e-commerce sites are um, running purely in Drupal. But I think it does have a lot of potential considering its capabilities of running multi-domain and multi-content architectures which are not readily available in other platforms. It does give an edge for organizations which need to bring in these other dimensions and also need to build their own custom workflows. It's much more manageable than Drupal. All right, uh, thank you so much. Just a quick reminder for everybody, you can take this on conversation live by tweeting using our hashtag SrijanWW and tagging our handle at the rates region. Meanwhile, we'll just jump on to our next question. Uh, so the next question is, how could Drupal 7 or 8 be used as a SaaS platform with ease? So I think uh, it needs it can definitely be used as a SaaS platform 
And in fact, our uh, Unimity People Power Solution is a SaaS platform. Um, the reason being most enterprises are not truly concerned about the technology in which it is being maintained. Uh, they are only interested in the solution that we are providing. Um, in this context, um, the ease of it being used as a SaaS platform, I would say, needs a certain amount of understanding Drupal, Drupal application development, understanding and managing a team that works with Drupal standards, and um, it definitely requires um, a deep understanding of Drupal's architecture to manage and maintain a SaaS platform. All right, thank you so much, Shamla. I would urge everybody to please type in any questions that you have because we still have some time. And that was our last question that we had received. Uh, meanwhile, Shamla, would you like to uh, tell us how Drupal is different from other platforms like WordPress and Joomla because this is a very uh, pressing question that you you must always come across. True, I think some of the key differences are that none of them have this wide range of capabilities. Each of them have their own unique capabilities, like if you look at WordPress, it would be a more a blogging platform. There are multiple platforms like Magento, which just do e-commerce. But Drupal has a flavor of not just being a, a, a content management system by itself. It's a framework, so it allows you and gives you flexibility to go beyond these basic core functionalities to tweak it to your business needs, to bring your own business rules. It also helps you to um, uh, bundle up and leverage community and social aspects around multiple scenarios and workflow with a lot of ease. All right, thank you so much. Uh, I believe that was, that was all about the question answers, but I would request, since I believe we are now running towards the end of the webinar, I would request all those who still have questions to please mail them to us at webinars at the rate surgeon.in or you can directly reach out to Shamala and send them, send them, send her your questions on Twitter at her to, given ID at the rate sham underscore Raj. Thank you so much once again, Shamla, for leading such a knowledgeable session. A big thank you to all the attendees for joining us today. You, got, you all have been a truly great audience. Before we close the webinar, I would also like to announce that our next webinar is on faster and smarter development with Drupal console, which would be hosted on 30, 30th of September and would be led by Jesus Manuel Olivers, Drupal 8 Solutions Engineer at FFW a digital agency built on technology, driven by data and focused on user experience. For registrations and more details, you would be getting a mail from our site. So stay tuned and thank you again for joining us today.